huge surprise for the universe life found on mars official announcement from nasa hello friends a development has just happened that is shaking all of humanity new life has been discovered on our neighboring planet mars and nasa itself has publicly announced it they say perseverance the Mars rover has revealed this astonishing find. This is a new milestone in the history of astronomy. So what exactly is this Martian life? What does it look like? How did NASA find it? Does this confirm life elsewhere? I'll tell you everything. Just stick around till the end of this video. Also, India played a major role in this discovery. We will cover that too. Perseverance's big discovery. Are there life forms on other planets? Friends, this has been the question that has haunted humanity for ages. And it still does. Now, NASA's new exploration is giving as an answer close to earth in a place on mars full of curiosities evidence about the origin of life has been uncovered but as you might expect it is not life like we have on earth here what they found are signatures life signatures of ancient microscopic organisms the perseverance rover which landed on mars in 2021 now has brought this major finding to light. In June 2024, Perseverance reportedly landed in a Martian basin called Jezero. Jezero is understood to be an old riverbed. Scientists say that around 3.5 billion years ago, there was a river called Neretva that was about 400 meters wide flowing here. In such places, the rover collected rock fragments. NASA has currently named these rock fragments as sapphire canyons. On these fragments, there are colored spots and structures that look like fossilized traces. And when those structures were examined, signs of ancient microscopic life were found. The particular rock where this discovery was made is being called Chaya Falls. The strongest evidence yet for life. Now you may get angry. Claiming life from just one speck of dust? NASA scientists lose their mind or what? Friends, nothing like that. There is reason for the confidence. This is not a normal rock. On Earth, rocks that form around microbial activity have a very specific chemical composition. In such soils, like in marshes and lakes, dead plant and animal material decomposes into the soil. These soils are low in oxygen and microbes start feeding on iron and sulphate in that organic matter. As they do, the iron oxidizes and can combine with phosphate to make blue minerals like vivianite. And sulphate can be converted into iron sulphides like gregite. These chemical reactions in small soil pockets produce colorful spots and structures in the rocks. Now on Mars, in the area named Bright Angel, where the Chaya Falls samples were found, scientists found rocks with exactly this kind of chemical composition. Organic carbon, iron phosphate and iron sulphide. Normally, those kinds of rocks on Earth point to biological activity and the conditions that produce them weren't present at high temperatures or strongly acidic environments at the Bright Angel site. So, the team concluded that microbial processes are the most plausible explanation here. That's why NASA Director Sean Duffy himself said, this is the closest moment we have had to saying there is life on Mars. Very well could be the clearest sign of life that we've ever found on Mars. He even called it one of the biggest milestones in NASA's history. This conclusion came after a year-long study of the rock sample. Further analysis is going on even now and NASA says this sample will be brought back to Earth in the coming days for deeper study here on Earth. No, this isn't shocking out of nowhere. 
Friends, for now, what's been found are biosignatures, signs that life once existed. So it wouldn't be surprising at all if in coming days we found direct fossilized remains of ancient organisms there. After all, among the planets in our solar system, Mars is the one that is most comparable to Earth. In the early days of the solar system, both planets were very similar. Mars had water, an atmosphere and life-friendly conditions. Over the time, the sun's heat changed a lot of that. But Mars still retains water as ice in polar caps and beneath the surface. Scientists estimate there is about 50 lakh cubic kilometers of water beneath Mars's southern polar ice cap. That is about 5 million cubic kilometers. If converted into liquid, that would fill Mars up to around 115 feet from the surface. Also, there is groundwater under the surface. Importantly, Mars also has many of the elemental building blocks for life. Nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, sulfur in its atmosphere and soil. So, even if we don't find complex life on the surface today, scientists strongly believe microscopic life could exist or could have existed. That is why since the 1960s, more than 50 spacecrafts have been sent to Mars. India too sent an orbiter on its first attempt. It was Mission Mangalyaan. India's help in the Mars exploration. Yes, friends, India is also connected to this major discovery. Among the scientists who studied and published the sample analysis, five are Indian or of Indian origin. Geoscientist Sanjeev Gupta played a major role in analyzing the biosignature. Astrobiologist Anushri Srivatsa has been working with the team for the last five years. Rohit Bhatia worked on handling the Sherlock instrument on perseverance that analyzed the chemical composition of these rocks. Moreover, some of the analytical methods used by NASA in this study build on principles developed by Indian scientists. For example, C. V. Raman's Raman spectroscopy. Raman spectroscopy works by shining light on a material and measuring how the light scatters. From that scattering pattern, you can deduce what kind of atoms or molecules the material contains. The same principle is used by Perseverance's Sherlock instrument to study these rocks on Mars. So India's contribution to NASA's exploration is significant in all ways. So friends, what do you think on this? Please let us know your opinion on the comment section below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and especially please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Let's meet again. Namaste.